Hello preschool friends, it's Miss Leslie and we are gonna do our very last Fit Kids today. Sorry, I know it's super bright out here so it's kinda <laughs> washing me out a little bit. But we're gonna start with our Fit Kids song and we're gonna climb the ladder. So get your feet, your knees, and your hands going as we climb the ladder. We're here in Fit Kids class. We're here in Fit Kids class. We'll jump and run and have some fun. We're here in Fit Kids class. We're here in Fit Kids class. We're here in Fit Kids class. We'll jump and run and have some fun. We're here in Fit Kids class. Very good job, guys. Okay, we're gonna warm up with one of our very favorites. Parents, this one is super silly. If you haven't done it before, you will feel silly, but they love it. This is called The Banana Song by Dr. Jean. Here it goes. check out Dr. Jean online. She's got all kinds of fun stuff that our kids love to do, including like a balancing kind of calming meditating one that we really like to do too. All right, so now that we are all warmed up, parents, today you're gonna need two plastic cups, two plastic cups. They don't have to be disposable ones. They could be regular cups from your kitchen as long as they're plastic because we don't want them to break. And some kind of a small-ish ball, a tennis ball, or I have a little emoji ball here, but it needs to fit 
in the cup, okay? And we're gonna start with just one of the cups. So I'll put the other one down for now. I've got my little table here, reach it in a bit. And we're gonna kind of do like bowling, but just with one cup as our pin, we're gonna work on our aim. So I'm gonna put the cup down, take my ball, and try to knock down the cup. So of course now I'm gonna have to chase it down <laughs> and go get it. But this is something you guys can um, maybe pause and do as many times as you want or as many times as it takes for you to get your aim right to knock the cup down. So set your cup down. You could do it on the ground or up on a table and you're gonna try to knock it down, okay? Whoops, let me gather my stuff. So it's probably easiest if you pause and play this game for a little while and then come back, okay? And then the next thing that we're gonna do with our cups, we're gonna get our two cups and work on our hand-eye coordination a little bit. So we're gonna put the ball in one cup. Whoops! <laughs> put the ball in one cup. And I've got my other cup here. And we're gonna work on trying to pour the ball from one cup to the other, okay? And this can be challenging, especially with little hands, even holding these big cups, okay? A cup that's big enough for your ball to fit in. So pour your ball back and forth, back and forth, okay? And if you've got little ones, more than one little one at home and you need to stop and take turns, you can. Feel free to pause anytime that you need to. We're just gonna pour our ball back and forth from one cup to the other, okay? Now, if that is easy for your little ones, if it's challenging, keep working on that. If it's easy for your little ones, you can try something a little harder, like tossing the ball up and catching it. Your little one can use two hands if they need to. All right, see, it's a challenge. Even Miss Leslie is having trouble doing it. So up, whoops, and try to catch it. So this one is not easy. We have worked on tossing and catching scarves and bean bags and things like that in class this year, but this one is much more challenging because it's not in their hand. Um, so you can toss and try to catch, or grown-ups, you could toss the ball to your little one and they could try to catch it, or vice versa. Working on throwing is a great skill too, so they can toss it to you and you can catch it if the catching part is too challenging for your little one, okay? So figure out what variation is gonna work for you tossing and catching your ball, whether your little one is tossing and you are catching or the other way around, or if they think they can do it all on their own, they're welcome to try. Of course, this is gonna be different if you've got a two-year-old or if you've got a five-year-old, okay? A two-year-old, this is gonna be a big challenge. You might just have them work on tossing the ball or even catching it in their hand whatever works for you guys at home okay so have some fun with your cups and your balls feel free to pause and join us back um anytime that you're ready okay i'm gonna put my ball down here and keep my two cups i'm gonna sorry for the noise scooch my table back over out of the way and put my two cups See if you can see that on the floor and we're gonna work on tapping are they in there I can't quite tell there we go I want to make sure you can see them okay so we're gonna work on um, foot eye coordination a little bit put your hands on your hips and we're simply gonna take one foot and tap the cup gently other foot tap the cup and back and forth tap the cup tap the cup tap the cup tap the cup okay so we're just kind of almost like marching but we're picking up our foot and gently tapping the cup okay so we don't want to crush the cup so we're working on not doing it too hard we're not stomping on it we're just barely tapping it okay keep going for a second tap each foot on the cup friends now if you want to make it a little bit harder cross i'm going to tap my right foot on the left cup and my left foot on the right cup so we're going to go across across and down across and down across and down across and down do it again across and down across and down across and down across and down good job now we're gonna make it a little bit harder if you're ready for it. I'm gonna move my cups a little bit closer together and we're gonna tap 
and kind of jog and see if we can kind of hopping or jogging, however you want to describe it. So I'm going to tap and then tap and tap. See, I'm hopping in the middle. Tap, 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 tap. So we're hopping in between. And again, try not to crush those cups. I almost did it there. I don't want to do it too hard. So we're hopping and tapping and hopping and tapping. All right. Got to look down at my cups to make sure I'm doing it. Hopping and tapping. Okay. And if somehow that's too easy, again, you can crisscross as you do it. So you can crisscross, hop and tap, and you're crisscrossing to the opposite cup, working on our foot eye coordination. All right. Again, you can pause and do this however long you want to, or if it's too complicated, you can fast forward, skip to the next thing. <laughs> All right. So we're going to put our cups away now. And I'm going to get the little ball that I had earlier. And you're going to start with the ball between your hands. And we're just going to work on a little dexterity here. So I'm going to try to roll the ball down my arm. And roll <laughs> it back up. You can start by just moving your hand down, but then you're going to run out of room. See, my fingers are out of room, so I'm going to have to roll it down. And roll <laughs> it back up. It's a challenge. Grown-ups, you can help your little one if they want to roll it up and down your arm or if you want to help by rolling it up and down their arm so they can see how it goes. And then you can switch hands, roll it down this one, work in those fingers, and then crawl it back up. I know the sun is really bright. Hopefully you can see how I'm doing that. Rolling it back up, working on our dexterity with our fingers up and down then I'm gonna back up again here once you've done it with your fingers you can try it with your feet we won't be able to do it nearly as far because we're not gonna be able to crawl our toes but you can start with the ball put it kind of behind your heel whoopsie I already lost it we're just gonna see if we can roll it up and down a little bit on our opposite leg here. I'll even hold the table for balance, just rolling it up and down. Can y'all see that? See if you can keep the ball between your leg and your foot, rolling it up and down. And then we'll do it the other way. So I'll place it there. I'm gonna go up and down, seeing if I can keep the ball between my foot and my leg. Feels a little funny. And it's not really easy complicated okay all right okay um, those are all of the different activities that we were gonna do today and then um, I've got a stretching song that we're gonna do and this one is online um, pardon me for a second I have to get close to my phone here this one is on YouTube I'm gonna Pull it up and I think this group is called have fun teaching they have I know we've used the jumping jack song and the jogging song and this one is called the stretching song it's kind of new to me so I'm gonna attempt to follow along Stretch it out. Stretch it out. Put 
your right foot forward and lunge. Stretch it out. Stretch it out. Reach back. Put your left foot in your hand and stretch it out. 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 Reach back. Put your right foot in your hand and stretch it out. 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 Sit on the floor with your back up straight. We're gonna stretch it out now, and it's gonna feel great. Put your legs straight out and touch your toes. Touch your toes. Touch your toes. Pull your left foot in and stretch to the right. Stretch it out. Stretch it out. Pull your right foot in and stretch to the left. Stretch it out. Stretch it out. Pull both legs in and stretch it out. Stretch it out. Stretch it out. Stand up straight and wiggle your head. Wiggle your head. Wiggle your head. Stand up straight and wiggle your arms. Wiggle your arms. Wiggle your arms. Stand up straight and wiggle your hips. Wiggle your hips. Wiggle your hips. Stand up straight and wiggle your legs. Wiggle your legs. Wiggle your legs. All right, we're all done with that one. Let me pause. Friends, I've had so much fun doing Fit Kids with you this year. This is our last Fit Kids for the year. You guys know how we end it with our three deep breaths. So stand up straight, breathe in through your nose, blow it out, breathe in, blow it out, breathe in, blow it out. All right, friends, you guys have done a great job this year. Have a great summer. See you later. Bye.